Well, unfortunately, I don't remember in that last um, clip that I was doing. So um, I'll pick up on this question 13, the pie chart one again. Sorry about that. Um, so as I was saying, uh, the method for doing this is you need to show very clearly how you calculate your angles because that's where the majority of the marks are for for the pie chart question. So I've added up there that the total number of pupils that we've got is 90 and you need to know that a pie is a circle and a circle has 360 degrees of angle within it. So what I now need to do is to divide those 360 degrees up for my 90 students. So each student gets 360 divided by 90. Now 360 divided by 90 is the same as 36 divided by 9, which is 4 degrees. So each student gets 4 degrees of that Pi. So if I wanted to divide that up for each student, each of the 90 students would have a slice 4 degrees big. But I don't need to have um, 90 slices because I want to share them into each of these. So what I need here is to show the two bedrooms. I'm going to have 25 kids there. Each of the 25 kids in there have four degrees. So two bedrooms will be 25 times four. So double 25, double it again. 25, double 50, double again 100. So 100 degrees would be the size of that slice. For the three beds, it will be 35 times four double it 70 double it again 140 degrees four beds will be 20 times 4 which is 80 degrees and then more will be 10 times 4 which is 40 degrees so out of those four marks three of them are for doing that working out the number of students adding them up you get 90. How much is each student going to get slice of the pie? 360 degrees is a whole pie divided by 90 is 4 degrees and then because 25 students are in that one that's 25 lots of 4 which is 100 and so on. So then we need to draw it and this will be bigger I've reduced this um, so actually on exam paper um, tractor will be smaller than the pie. So first of all get a starting point. So there's one side of one slice. My first slice is going to be 100 degrees. So you take your protractor, your angle measurer and you line the zero up with the line that you've drawn and the center of the protractor, the center of the pie. Now I need to go around to 100 so you can see here I got two numbers. Well, that one starts at 350, 340. I needed to start at zero, which is there, and count 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on around. So 100 is there. Make a dot, draw your line. That's two beds. The next slice now is 140 degrees. But you have to turn your protractor so the zero is at the start of the next slice. So it isn't at the top anymore, it's coming around to there. And again now I need to go around 140 degrees. It's the outside scale, 110, 130, 140 is there. So that's my three beds. The next one is 80, which is my four beds. So again, I'm going to turn my protractor now so that zero is on the start of the next slice and count around to 80, which is there. So that's four beds, 
and then what's left must be more four so there you go so there's your pie chart the method is the same every time number of pupils size for each student and then one mark for working out the rest of the angles and then one mark for actually drawing the pie chart and labeling it so the total for that page is four six eight ten marks Okay, the probability of a boy chosen at random in Sean's class having blue eyes is 0 0.2. Sean says, the probability of a boy in my class not having blue eyes is 0 0.9. Explain why Sean is wrong. Well, Sean is wrong because they have to add up to 1. Total probability is 1. So, that needs to be 1 less 0 0.2 equals 0 0.8. So, Sean is wrong because probability of blue plus prob not blue must equal 1. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8 equals 1. Okay, so that's the sort of thing they're looking for you to explain there. Question 14. The angles of a quadrilateral are x degrees, 49 degrees, 3x degrees and 111 degrees. Form an equation in x and use your equation to find the value of x. So the fact you need to know about the angles of a quadrilateral is that they have to add up to 360. So we're going to do x plus 49 plus 3x plus 111 must equal 360. One mark for that. We can tidy that up because 1x and 3x make 4x. 49 and 111 add up to 160. So we've simplified our equation. Now I need to get the x's on their own so I have to get rid of that add 160. To get rid of 100, add 160, I've got to take 160 off both sides. So take 160 off that side, it's gone. It means I've got to take 160 off that side too, which means 4x is 200. 4 times x is 200. So to get 1 times x, I've got to do the opposite of times it by 4, which is dividing by 4. 200 divided by 4 is 50 degrees. One mark for writing down the equation, one mark for simplifying it, one mark for taking it that last step further, and one mark for getting the answer of 50 degrees. Okay, we've got a pair of parallel lines there, and we've got a triangle there that I know two sides of. So if that's 45, that's 65. Angles inside the triangle must add up to 180. So if I do 180 take away 65, I get 115. That means that that angle there must be 115. If that angle is 115, that's a straight line. 115 plus that must equal 180. That means that angle there must be 65. Now I've got here a parallel line and within that parallel line we've got this Z angle which means if that's 65 that's 65 there as well. If that's 65 and that's 60 I've got a straight line here 65 add 60 is 125 so those two come to 125 so y is going to be 180 take away 125 which is 55 degrees so y is 55 now in this triangle I know that that's 65 and that's 55 so I can add those together 
and that's going to be 120 which means this x is going to be 180 take away 120 which is 60 okay so we start with that triangle there's two angles I can work out the third then I've got a straight line 180 take that away from 180 gives me that one that means I know one of the angles on my parallel line which means that one's the same that means then that on this straight line I know two angles I can work out the third by taking them away from 180 then in this triangle I know those two angles I can find out that so it's quite a lot of work there for those three marks so you have one mark for the right method and then one mark for each of the two answers that you need total for the page eight question 15 solve each of the following equations okay so what we need here are all the x's on the one side all the numbers on the other so let's do it one step at a time let's get rid of that add 4 get rid of an add 4 by taking away 4 16 take away 4 is 12 now I want to get the X's on their own, so I want to take away that 3X. So I'm going to take 3X off that side as well. 7X take away 3X is 4X. 4X equals 12 to get the X on its own. You've got to do the opposite of times by 4, which is dividing by 4. So X is 12. In algebra, we write divide like that. 12 divided by 4 is 3 with this one first of all I have to get rid of that bracket so the right hand, left hand side says the same when you get rid of a bracket you have to multiply whatever's outside it by everything that's inside so we're going to do 2 times 3 is 6 2 times 2 is 4 but we've got a negative there so that's what we're dealing with let's get rid of the add 2 by taking away 2 6 take away 2 is 4. Now, in order to get rid of that 4x, it's a take 4x, so I have to add 4x. If I add 4x to that side, i got to add 4x to that side as well. So 3x plus 4x is 7x equals 4. To get the x on its own, I've got to do the opposite of times it by 7, which is dividing by 7 and like I said in algebra we write divide like that so there's six marks for that there'll be two marks for the first one and then for the second one there'll be one mark for multiplying out the bracket and then one mark for the method and one mark for getting the right answer and one mark for getting it as a fraction and then for B simplifying so there's no equals here so we're not going to get an answer it's just going to be something that we can tidy up so first of all multiply out the bracket 2 times 3r is 6r 1 times 2 is 2 plus 5r I can add up the r's 6r and 5r is 11r plus Two. so there'll be one mark for that one and then for this one there's two lots of brackets so you're going to have um, 6p plus 9 minus 2p and here you've got minus times a minus makes a plus 2 times 1 is 2 now I've got 6p take away 2p is 4p and I've got 9 add 2 is 11 so here you're going to have one for expanding the brackets you're going to have one for making that a plus and then you're going to have one for correct simplifying okay so we've got area 
and we've got an area of a circle. So how are we going to um, split this up? Probably if we were to work out, um, let's have a look, so we could split this into that rectangle, that rectangle and that rectangle. So area of A will be 40 times and then here it's 50 from there to there and it's 10 there so that distance there is going to be 40. So it's going to be 40 times 40, 4 fours are 16 and then you can have the two zeros after it. Area of B will be 5 times 10 which will be 50 and the area of C will be 5 times 10 which will be 50. So the total area is going to be um, 1600 plus another 100 is 1700. But we've got this circle to deal with. So the area of the circle is going to be pi times r squared. And they're saying to use pi is 3.14 times 10 squared which means 3.14 times 100 which is 314 um, so the surface paved surface is going to be 1700 take away 314 um, so we got to borrow from there, twice, six, nine, two, one. Meters squared. Again, whatever method you use to subtract. So you're gonna have two marks for working out the 1700 two marks for working out the area of the circle and two marks for working out your final answer. Total for that page is 16. A lot of marks on that page. And then the final question is an estimate. So you round to numbers that make life easier. So you're going to round that one to 600. You're going to round that one to 20. And you're going to round the bottom one 0.3. 600 times 20, so 6 times 2 is 12 with 3 zeros divided by 0.3. Now, 0.3, not a nice number, but if you times it by 10, you get 3, which is easier. And so long as you times, if you're going to times the bottom by 10, you times the top by 10 as well, you're not changing. The value of the sum. So that means that that's the same as that, adding a zero to the top one and moving that. 3 into 12 goes four times followed by the four zeros. So an estimate to that would be 40,000. So there'd be one mark for rounding them there'd be one mark for dealing with a 0.3 and there'd be one mark for your final answer. Total for the page three. And that's the whole paper.